Good evening, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining us for yet another episode on my Sim Dumisa Gospel Show. It is season four, right here on Life Destiny, your life, your destiny. And I'm super honored and super excited to be in front of your screens this evening. It is a blessed Sabbath, and we are more than excited to be in the presence of the Lord. Ikamala Mulondi Wekuzwayo, and I'm going to be your host for the next hour. The theme for this season is simply thanksgiving. And you know what that means? It's gratitude to the Lord throughout our souls, our bodies, our minds, through our actions and every single thing that we do. And I hope that every single day you take the time to thank God for everything that he does for us because Muslim to me is simply just about that. And well, joining Olandere is myself, your girl, Ujima Katawagas Tole. And I'm quite excited, I'm quite happy to be actually here with you tonight to worship and to praise our God in thanksgiving. And the verse for tonight is, I was glad when they said to Amen. me, let us go into the house of the Lord. And aren't you excited to be actually here with us to worship and to praise our God in song and in melodious music? So help us now, Dima, to join us in the spirits and mm -hmm. in praising the Lord is the one and only Africa's finest group, which goes by the name of Africa Pella, that has been with us for over 10 years. Yay. So I'm super excited to hear what they have to say about the ministry, their journey, and about Thanksgiving. But most of all, sharing their ministry with us for the next hour. I'm super excited, and don't you dare move from that seat. Well, viewers at home, to know more about this group, to follow them and to just find out about their music, you can join us on our social media platforms, and that is Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We'll be posting our behind the scenes photographs of what's going on actually here in studio. We will also be telling you about, you know, the group and just knowing more about the group itself. And you can share with us about what it is that you'd like to see happening on the show, what you'd actually like to what groups you'd actually like to see performing as well on the show. But for now, you can just enjoy yourself and listen to a beautiful item by Africa Pella. Enjoy. Oh, 
joined us you are watching Masim to miss season four right here on life destiny your life your destiny joining me in studio right now is two great gentlemen from one of the most finest african groups of all time and that is africa pella the group started in the year 2006 they have got two albums and one of the albums is actually created for an international audience they've also had five amazing tours 
internationally. They've performed for Nelson Mandela's birthday and also have won Best African Album of the Year as well as Best African Song of the Year. I am honored to be in their presence this evening. Gentlemen, hello. Hello, hello, hello. hello, hello, hello. hello. How are you? Good in you, good in you. Good, thank you. Good, thank Thanks. you. Jabu Vusi, it's really yes. an honor to have you. The music that you've blessed us with thus far has been exceptional. Yeah. So I really just want to know more. What is Africa Pella? Why the name Africa Pella? Who are you? What do you stand for? Mm. That's a tall order. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'll go ahead and answer. Yeah. Uh, Africa Pella began in the year 2006. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, we were from church and uh, some we were not really happy with the sound back then. Mm -hmm. We were like, I think we, we should try something else, you know, because there was just like a, a stagnant sound around the time. Mm -hmm. And then we tried to to combine uh, forces with Joshua, mm -hmm. uh, Togo Zan and Velase uh, back then. And we sort of like, okay, they called me uh, yeah. as, as a third person. And uh, Luiso came around and I called Vuyo. Mm -hmm. And then there was uh, another guy called Schaba. <coughs> they are no longer here, Schaba. Okay. Uh, Josh and 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 and, and Tozan. So like we, we we continue from there, but then and then we launched a a record deal. Okay. Uh, uh, that's where the name comes from. The, the Africa Pan name comes from. Initially, we were Blue Junction. Blue and Junction. Blue Junction. Yes. Okay. So why did you change? Why did you become Africa Pella? And when did you make that transition? That transition was made around the 2006, quite late okay. in the year, and we. We, I think we saw the name Blue Junction somewhere. Okay. You know, like, let's just come with a unique name that will en encapsulate mm -hmm. uh, us as Africans, because we are Africans, ah. yeah. And that's when the name Africa Pella came about, uh, mm -hmm. via Togo Zanem Velase. And from there, we never looked on, and we challenged the the status quo where we yes. were in church, uh, tried to change things a bit. Mm. Uh, I mean, there were no sing-alongs around that time. Yeah, and after the after what we did in church in terms of singing along with people, making them part of the performance, we s we saw a, a mushrooming of uh, that that kind of a thing, you know, coming yeah. around, mm -hmm. and we were quite happy with 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 that achievement because we felt that we kind of an audience, mm. uh, and an an audience remains, you know, uh, non participatory, you know. Yeah. So we try to involve them in that very same spirit and realm of, of mm. worshiping. Yeah. But I mean, you said you're challenging, you challenged the status quo yes. back then. And I mean, that was like back in 2006, right? Yes, yes. And I can just imagine how how restricted and constrained mm. that environment was. Yes. I'm sure they were used to maybe like a westernized sort mm. of worshipping, yes. right? And then here you come, bringing in something which could be even look, be looked as very evil, right? Yes, you yes. bring in an African feel, you know, you're speaking your African language, you're mm. proud of who you are. Mm. But however, you're in an environment that does not really accept that. Mm. How did you find that and how did you work around it? I think you touched on it, but I just want to know yes. more. How did you deal with that? Yeah, it was quite hard, you know. Mm -hmm. It was quite hard. I mean, we took a few songs from the Adventist hymn. Mm -hmm. And I remember we were doing a performance in Deben, and uh, sure. we took songs from the Adventist hymn, mm. and we just performed them. Mm -hmm. And because they're not uh, performed normally in church, even though they're in the mm. in the, the hymnal, yeah, people are not really accommodating. Even the jazz harmony thing was not really accepted. Mm. Uh, but we tried to forge on and stay the course, uh, mm -hmm. and we got going. You know. We're not uh, shaken by the negativity. Uh, there was yeah. another performance I remember at Valtec, okay. uh, VUT. I remember there was a delay, a deliberate delay mm. uh, on stage or backstage because we were supposed to sing mm. and these people were going in front of us all the time and we were there. And uh, we went to sing and people were happy but the, the people who were managing the whole progr program mm were delaying the, the process because they sort of like knew what we were bringing on stage. Yes. So that's th the thing I'm saying by saying we're trying to change. Yeah. Uh, but we received it. I mean, we were quite young, but we tried to not mm. see the negativity, but still produce the art form that we want to produce. Mm. So that we can be remembered by that mm. as opposed to conforming to what people want mm. yes. you as a singer to, to sing. Or to yeah. So you have to change people's minds yeah. about your art because that's what art is at the mm. end. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Jabu, I'm seeing you agreeing a lot with that. Tell <coughs> me something. Why is it important for you to, to minister to Africans in an, in an African way? I think the first thing uh, when you grow up as Africans, uh, mm -hmm. when they teach you at home, they teach you in your home language. So mm. I think, you know, it's, for me, it's, it's, it's even better if I address God, I mean, address my emotions to God. Mm -hmm. in my own language because i think he, he can hear multi mm -hmm. multi languages 
so mm. I think yeah that that's just that for me you know yeah, yeah it's, uh, that yeah okay uh, yeah and you guys have got two albums right yeah. yes, yes, yes. but you say you have one album and then the other one you made it for an international group obviously so that they could hear and relate to what you're saying mm. tell me more about that and why did you think of such a great strategy uh, well, uh, uh, that was Germany. Uh, mm -hmm. we, we, we did some three beautiful tours in Germany. Toured around nice. tour, uh, Germany, uh, drove ourselves around Germany mm. as well. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah, but the, the album, I mean, we, uh, the first album, which is called Blue Changshin, uh, uh, was there for a long time. So we mm. thought, you know what, let's just try to um, have an album for the tour mm. of, of Germany. And that's, that's, basically how it started so i mean as a as an artist as a performing artist abroad you have to have um your merchandising uh, uh, intact so that after the show people can come and mm. and say so in a way we we combined the germany tour with that album I based on, uh, on the I fact see. that we wanted them to, to to have that record so it was the second record that we did mm. at that time for them so in a way we like we combine that tour or mm -hmm. those two tours we had with that um, particular album, so it came. I think how many years ago? Two years ago, so I think. Yeah, two years ago. Yeah, I think we did two years ago. Also. So yeah, so it's like a Germany thing, mm. you know. Yeah, but we have got African songs there, some covers, original uh, material, mm -hmm. uh, you know. Yeah, so that's that's basically it, you know. Yeah. Great. Quickly, in closing, mm -hmm. I want to hear from both of you, right? Yeah. So you do know that our whole season is simply on Thanksgiving, yeah. right? So we're thanking God continuously. We could be just full of gratitude. Mm -hmm. Tell me, why is that important in your ministry to be always thankful? And what does Thanksgiving mean to both of you? In just one sentence each. Well, for me, it begins with uh, at home. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, we have to say thanks in, in everything that you, mm -hmm. you receive. You can't just take things and go. Mm -hmm. So we really do encourage people to have mm -hmm. a thankful heart mm -hmm. uh, because you, you gain some things like an investment to be thankful. Mm -hmm. And uh, we hope that people will always learn from our spirit of thanksgiving mm -hmm. uh, by always want being, th being thankful to, to, to stuff they receive. Uh, I mean, if those things can continue all the time, Mm. Uh, we'll have a beautiful community, you know. Uh, you don't just take, take, take without, without mm. the thing. Yeah, yeah, in, yeah. So, True. yeah. Mm. I love that. Gentlemen, thank you so yeah. much for your time. Jabu no problem. Yeah. May God yeah. continue to bless you in your thank ministry. Thank you so much. And I'm super excited to hear more of your items. It's been really great so far. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. So, thank you. that was Vusi and that was Jabu from Africa Pella joining us in studio, showing more about actually praising God in a more African way and starting Africa Pella all the way from 2006, where it was actually not so easy. Barrier of entry was really, really difficult, but they've made it thus far. Don't move, we'll be back just after the air break.
Welcome back, Makaya. You are still tuned in on your favorite music show on TV, and that is called Massim Dumise on Life Destiny TV. Well, right now, I'm sitting with two gentlemen from the group Africapella. As you have heard previously, you were talked about how the group started and what inspired, actually, the inception of the group. These two young men will be telling us more about this beautiful group and actually the direction that they are actually planning to take with Africapella. And their names are Uloyiso and Uvoyo. Good evening and welcome, gentlemen. Good evening. It's a Hello. pleasure to meet you. Well, it is a pleasure, my pleasure actually for you to meet you. I'm quite excited to have you here on, on our show today. And I've been really enjoying your music thus far. Oh, thank you very thank much. You so much. All ours. Anyway, let's get into the questions. All right. Now, your guys' group is Africa Pella. Mm -hmm. And you are quite a busy group, if I can say that. Quite popular, if I can also mention. And I had a chance to just look around on your social media space. And I noticed that, wow, this group is actually relevant it is there mm. you know um tell me what is what what actually motivates that who is behind your you know your social media presence who is taking care of that uh very good question um <coughs> we 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 have taken that initiative upon ourselves okay to be a unified a driving force um um, um, um to the masses okay. so um we are more um you know, compelled and uh, you know, overly driven to 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 to, to extend um, a very uh, broadened set of uh, tentacles to reach as uh, many people as we possibly can. Mm -hmm. um, I'll tell you now that um, that has generated uh, a lot of uh, color in as far as uh, people's reception is concerned, um, as that would emanate also from the way in which we synergize and engage with the manner in which we get to influence them by reason of, uh, as a unit, um, mm -hmm. going forth, mm -hmm. you know. Um, yes, <laughs> I know that we are still at the pangs of growth, mm -hmm. where we'll get to a point where we're going to have a person who is highly skilled okay, and more okay. streamlined into mm -hmm. managing social media. So, God willing and by His grace, we're going to get there. But for now, we're... In we Jesus' name. Uh, hallelujah. <laughs> and yeah. so, we're going to be... Uh, for now, uh -huh. we are um, um, hands-on. We are um, handling that social space ourselves. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it was quite a mouthful that Uvoyo said. I actually feel like I actually need my dictionary right now to just oh, go good. through the words that you kept uttering. Oh, man. Oh. <clears throat> no comment. <laughs> anyway, Loyiso. Now, um, as Uvoyo is saying, in Domana, you know, you guys take care of your own social media. Yes. Now, I don't know how to put this exactly, but is this not in any way or shape or form? interfering with your guys core of what you guys are actually offering your target audience um, i think i also spoke some deep english they you know influenced <laughs> <Maybe> by <laughs> <laughs> oh, what have I done? it's okay <laughs> <laughs> it's okay um i would i would say um it's not exactly interfering okay um we we prefer doing it by ourselves all right um, since we can see that um, a need for us to reach out there and and um, uh, communicate with the with our fellow brothers and sisters mm -hmm. abroad, okay, and obviously here in in our country as well, uh, we need to be um, known and um, we have to make sure that we are always present in the social media because that's uh, a way of us to um to be on scene mm -hmm. to spread the word exactly mm -hmm. and um, um 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 reach out those who haven't experienced um africa pella live mm. because uh, it's it's another tool that we use to advertise ourselves and definitely spread the, the gospel as well. Mm. Beautiful, yeah. beautiful. Louis. And uh, to add a building block to that, okay. um, you know, obstacles, we'd rather want to uh, expect <coughs> obvious obstacles. Okay. Like logistical obstacles. Go which on. We, which we would picture as challenges. Okay. You know, uh, things that uh, pertain to uh, logistics such as 
okay where we where are we going to outsource money to do this um mm, mm. Uh, oh, who can smart. we pay to do mm. this uh you know uh, mm -hmm. those are what we call positive stresses okay hello so that hello. at the end of the day <laughs> you 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 feel a sense of worth in working working and striving towards achieving that mm -hmm. so that i think in a nutshell would bolster most of the points that he's just mentioned which are quite prudent and very uh uh concise by the way beautiful Beautiful. I feel like, like calling you professor right now, actually. <laughs> anyway, there's not much time left, but um, I just want to get into one more question with you, gentlemen. You sing one of the beautiful, very well-known songs, Jesus Loves Me. Oh, yes, favorite song. What inspired that song? I love how <coughs> you guys, you know, sing the song. I love the lyrics of your song. You focus more on actually that little child that Jesus does love, that naughty, that naughty little boy, mm. Oganye, that little girl with the Afro hair, you know, which is really, you know, it, 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 it actually reaches out to, to the specific target market. Exactly. Was this uh, intentional that you actually wanted to reach out to this audience? Or was that actually, you know, a triggered inspiration, you know, by... Mm by creativity what went on with that song all right first of all i'd like to acknowledge that um we as africa pillar enjoy doing that piece okay. uh, for some strange reason mm -hmm. a good reason that is it uh, resonates beautifully mm -hmm. amongst ourselves and uh, we have a lot of fun singing that song beautiful uh, it has had a multi-pronged approach in as far as uh, reaching out to, to the particular uh, specified audience is concerned to the little child uh -huh. We, 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 we had to pay attention to a change of rhythm, a change of harmonic style, mm -hmm. so that it tantalizes the little child's okay, ear. Hello. And in as much as they can relate from a very playful perspective what the song is about, you mm -hmm. know, because it's a childhood thing, they see a total, totally new package. Okay. That's okay. Right. Wow. This, this song is what I know, but mm -hmm. it's, it's in such a way, sometimes I may not be able to explain it, but it sounds good anyway. I'm mm -hmm. going to love it and I'm going to uh, uh, accept it. So I, sometimes I would want to call it, if I can use this license to say this, subliminal singing. Hey. Where you'll find that, where you'll find that the child just gets to enjoy the goodness of uh -huh. what they're hearing in the song without having been, without explaining it. So, uh, that, was intended and of course for the big people yes fresh harmonies uh that was the target mm -hmm. nice package and uh create a good reaction and uh those are the primary target uh, uh, markets beautiful beautiful thank you so much my professor well <laughs> gentlemen <laughs> we have actually come to the end of the slot i wish we could have had more time to actually get to to speak to you and hear more Aww. from you and get more english words from a professor but anyway uh <laughs> it is a show <laughs> and we are bound by time yeah uh and that was uloyi so our voyeurs and uvuyo the professor that is new name <laughs> uh selling this beautiful conversation that we have had this inspiring conversation they will now take us to this very song that we were talking about jesus loves me do enjoy enjoy Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. Oh, Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Jesus loves me. 
yeah, yeah. The Bible tells me so. I know it's oh, gonna be a And you are still tuning in on Masim Dumise. And I must say, I'm quite impressed with you that you are still locked onto your screen watching this wonderful show. Well, what's going to happen now later on in the show is that we will be blessed with beautiful words, inspirational words, just to motivate us and just to bring us closer to heaven. And that will be a wonderful, beautiful poem that I believe that you will thoroughly enjoy. But before that, what's going to be happening, Londi? So basically right now, we're going to be telling you the who is the ways and the hows. And of course, it is that time of the show where we tell you about events that are happening near you. It is the Get Guide. Do not move from the screen to see what's happening. Before your blessings know gravity, you've got to experience deep depravity. You've got to admit that your righteousnesses are as filthy rags and recognize your spiritual poverty. You've got to stop counting the cost of carrying the cross because clearly you're more than broke. You're bankrupt and blacklisted because of your spiritual corruption. Before your blessings know gravity, you've got to be freed from all captivity. You've got to start being aware of the prison walls the evil one has you surrounded with. Walls of momentous pleasure, tall walls of self-love, you mistreating your body and abusing substance. Now I'm not talking about the kind that comes with faith, I'm talking about the kind that has you hoping for greater heights, call it cloud nine, you listening to the dark voices that tell you that by acts of self-righteousness, you'll be like the most high. Sad. You've got to stop being that during the weekend type of Christian and be a man after God's own heart. You've got to be committed ungening your heart and stop making faith your side dish. Helmet of salvation on. Clothe your mind with the words of the rock of ages. Equip yourself in fear to take pleasure in finding knowledge and be as wise as sages. Before your blessings know gravity, 
You've got to learn to do away with negativity. You've got to be loosed from the noose of constantly blaming circumstances, pointing a finger at society. Child, stop looking at the future through the shade of your skin color, for we have no abiding city here. We have been promised a heaven, a home of brightness and sweet repose, a home of rest. Rest not from our labors that birth dead fruit, but rest from all the anxieties of uncertain tomorrows. For there is no night there. Oh, you have to learn to do away with negativity. I mean, I mean, look at your Savior on the cross. Saying full grown man did not know what they were doing. What positivity. Letting us wade in the depth of his hope for the human race. An expression of faith in the love that was so strong. It made the Father beat the Son come and die for this wretched race. A faith that became substance when the thief on the cross answered to an altar call Jesus never uttered. He set the pace. Oh, before your blessings know gravity, you've got to have your heart bound to his. Plunging so deep, his love having you under cardiac arrest, under arrest called 10 triple one because the gospel has my bones on fire, higher. I am moving higher, climbing the ladder of faith. And though for now we have stones for pillows soon we'll be strolling on solid gold for now we have to be strong and bold and keep on holding on to the solid rock before our blessings no gravity we've got to continue chasing after the hem of his garment because you see salvation is an issue of blood but praise be to God because Christ has already shed his for us. So we have to rip ourselves of these masks and face the sinful men in us and realize how much of our sinful parts we feed, how much of the cleansing flood we need, how much for our saving Christ pleads. Please, until your blessings know gravity, stay on your knees. Remember the winds and the waves, obey his voice. So surely your blessings will recognize the master's voice and yield to the command of his voice. And of course we've reached that time of the show where we have to say our goodbyes. I'm super sad about that because I wish I could be with you for the rest of the Sabbath. However, the Holy Spirit will be with you for the rest of the Sabbath and of course, the rest of the week. Thank you so much for watching once again. It is Masim Dumisa right here on Life Destiny. To our lovely guests, Africa Pella, thank you gentlemen, each and every single one of you for blessing us with your ministry as well as your journey. And we're truly grateful for that. To you, our viewers at home, we love you so much. And look, we hope to see you same time, same place next week. And of course, if you want to stay in touch with us until next week, we are available on every single social media. Well, the three, that is. So that is Facebook, Twitter, as well as Instagram. If you want to see all the lovely photos that we take during the show, after the show with our guests, as well as me, myself, and Dima. Basically, thank you so much for watching, and we love you so much. Well, as she has said a mouthful, Olandiwe, it was indeed a beautiful and a lovely night to be with you. I thoroughly enjoyed the show. I truly, truly, truly enjoyed the Africa Pella. I hope you did too as well at home. It is quite unfortunate and quite sad that we have to say actually goodbye, but it is not the end of it. We will still be tuning in with you. We'll still be in touch with you throughout this wonderful week. Remember, you were the best and greatest audience, the greatest guest we actually had on the show. We love you and all from me and Tom stay true to yourself have a blessed evening and of course here is the last performance from africa pella be blessed we love you so much
Amen.